Well, thank you so much for, 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 for being here and for the invitation. I will try to give a little bit the status quo from the private forest owners uh, perspective. And uh, to speak about cork uh, as a non-wood forest product, it's easy. Uh, it is probably one of the best recognized non-wood forest products. And certainly throughout the world, a large part of the population sees, uses and feels cork, uh, mainly due to the use of cork uh, stoppers in wine, but also another part of the population knows its application as construction materials, fashion materials, or even its use in the aerospace industry, among many others. But what a great part of the world society does not know is the forest concept of the cork oaks montado. It's an habitat in its majority composed of an agroforest system that differs from the great majority of the European and world forest. It is a mosaic in which the forest is reflected in its multifunctionality in the preservation of trees with a very strong and strict legal protection and with an economical stability relationship that is totally connected with environmental and social sustainability. So in times uh, when we talk about ecosystem service for forests, the Montado is a universe of these same services in favor of nature and its conservation with a sustainable management that has been maintained over decades as a way of preserving and promoting the quality of cork production uh, factors that are completely inseparable. So sustainable forest management has played a very active role by forest owners in protecting the sustainability of future cork supplies. And what some of the most important namely with a, a very large scale plantation since the 90s and with changes in management by reducing soil mobilization and choosing for extensive exploitation models. But the very important publication of the core coke and cork research and innovation agenda in 2015 that defined the sector's needs and priorities with guided goals to improve the cork oak forests and to guarantee the quality of the cork supply and also to increase the resilience to climate change. And these are some of the examples of the advances made in recent years with high rate of success in promoting the success of cork supply in the future by reinforcing the strengths and opportunities of the sector. But however, they are limited by several weaknesses. And it is in this set of a general SWOT analysis of the cork sector that the lessons that we learn in the course of this incredible project come into play, especially by reinforcing the promotion of European political priorities for the sustainability of non-wood forest products, for a green economy, for nature conservation and for social promotion. And the need for producing countries to have leadership throughout national programs that promote the entire sector, from the owner and forest manager to the consumer, but also the importance of European coordination in terms of bioeconomy and rural development policies is totally crucial. And as we seen the key actions presented in the, in the project, uh, they perfectly suggest a series of actions that are confirmed as essential to the sustainability of Cork that are well defined in the increase and valorization of the current and historical dynamism of the sector of Cork. Namely, and very with a specific uh, interest in the conservation and sustainability. But even though, uh, and with all the compromises and efforts of forest owners, there is a need to act in order to provide and improve the sustainability in future cork supplies. And the cork sector has its own concerns with regards to today's challenge, as described in the key actions of the incredible project. And I could say some that could be very important to discuss. So the decline of cork oak forest, and it's either due to poor management or poor management based on the lower economical appreciation of the products in view of the needs for sustainable management in what concerns the product quality. We know from our experience that in some cases, the revenue of the product doesn't pay correct management that it's needed. And also, the need of a stronger social relevance of agroforest that it's associated with cork, that has the means to provide environmental public goods for the creation of prosperity and employment at regional level 
in areas of high risk of desertification, as well as promoting biodiversity. And the need for technology and knowledge that will allow for a more effective management of the mitigation and adaptation components in what concerns the negative effects of climate change, and namely in the decline of forest and core quality caused by biotic and abiotic engines. There is a need to reinforcement of the economical part of the management of the core core forest in order to benefit the economic that results for forest owners management and to fight the recent reduction of new plantations and their proper management, sometimes due to the lack of the economical profit. And for this, it is necessary that the value chain is better distributed uh, from the forest owner uh, by having more remuneration from the industry and the confirmation of payments of ecosystem service by society and public intervention and also public support for investment. There is the need to add knowledge and technology to the production process, namely in increasing the quality of the core produced per hectare, as well as in the reduction of the period necessary for the first extraction of cork and in the reduction of the interval between extractions. And as a, it is a seasonal uh, uh, activity, the sector faces difficulties in recruiting labor. In addition to the need for specialization in new generations inputs on the workforce, and with this, we need to ensure the product quality and sustainable for forest. And here there is a major work for mechanization and technology that will play an important role to pressing challenges of manpower needs. And there is a need to include the core sector in European policies in terms of rural development with specific interventions for the defense, the group qualification and expansion of the core coal forests, recovering territories and rural economies that are based or dependent on the Montados economy. And there is a demand of promotion of the sector and its production and management, whose activity is based on exploring a renewable resource having no impact on the natural resources, being therefore one of the main examples of sustainability and circle economy within the European forests.